UGD coming at you with a little bit of touch-up work on this Smith & Wesson 915 with an aluminum frame. That's right, this is an aluminum frame. So we're going to hit it with some Birchwood Casey's Aluminum Black. Now guys, the aluminum black is hit or miss. That's the only way to put it. It is absolutely hit or miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And so I want to give a shout out to Mark Burris. He told me that you're cross-contaminating, not wearing gloves, and uh, yeah, it'll probably make you sterile. In fact, it does say uh, uh, poison, you know, maybe fatal. If I'll try not to swallow it. So uh, thank you, Mark, for the shout out and a little bit of help. So we're going to put a little bit of that in the cap over here. And uh, another thing he pointed out is you keep using the same Q-tip, dipping it in the bottle, you're going to cross-contaminate. So we've got some fresh Q-tips. Now, word of warning on this stuff. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I, I, the Lumina Black seems to be really hit or miss. I don't know if it's going to take to this gun. I did hit this with some non-acetone fingernail polish to try to get all of the grease and oil I could off of this hot rod. And then uh, when you do get done, even if it does work, yeah, the gun's going to shoot to the left for sure. No doubt in my mind. So use at your own discretion. So we've got a pretty good spot right here. You can see that, uh, you yeah, know, we've got quite a bit of, of loss there. So let's go ahead and hit it on there and just see what happens. Now, unlike the Super Blue, this stuff you got to let sit for uh, a little bit longer and let it work. Yeah, it, it works a lot slower. So this video may not be showing, uh, you know, the whole gun being done because I'll probably spend half an hour, 45 minutes doing the whole gun. But we'll hit a couple spots here and see if we can get this thing to doll up a little bit. Now, the reason I'm doing this is, is not because I'm uh, vain about my firearms. I just needed to do a video, and I thought, what the heck? This is my wife's gun now. She absolutely loves this hot rod, and she doesn't miss with it, which makes it awesome. And, you know, part of having the, somebody enjoy the sport is they got to hit the steel every once in a while. This gun is not an every once in a while gun for her. This is every time she pulls the trigger, she's hitting steel. A little scary if I ever really, really make her mad. So we've got some sitting on there here at the front got some here and, and you know where there's some deeper gouges in it and, you know, a lot of times that just won't won't take and there was a little bit of rub right through here so let's let that sit for a few seconds guys you know again you're using at your own discretion this may ruin your firearm you just never know i don't want to be that guy god i put that back in there all right throw that aside let it sit and if you notice it has darkened up a little bit so that's a good sign that means it will start taking a little bit oh yeah darkened up down there it just takes a little longer than the Super Blue. I don't know what the magic that's going on there, but yeah, that that is what you got to do is just let it sit. And I'll show you the slide. Yeah, we got done with that. Hmm. Yeah, I've still got to wipe it down, dry off the oil, but yeah, that just looks awesome, fantastic. Uh, the next step is we're going to do a little bit of uh, enamel work on not only the slide, but I'm going to try to do the grip. Yep, the grip. So, Guys, I will do some after photos of this, but let's go ahead and wipe this off and see exactly where we're at with the Birchwood Aluma Black. Aluminum Black. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. If I would have let it sit on there a little bit longer, probably would have got a little more darker. And uh, the color, oh yeah, that looks really good. And then remember here, there's just a big old gal just missing uh, all kinds of finish on that. So look at that. <laughs> look at that. That's awesome sauce right there. All right, fellas, there's the Birchwood KC Illumina Black. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you think, wow, just please do this without filming it and never put it on YouTube. Hit the thumbs down and please subscribe.